Hey, it's Sarah here. Welcome to this quick movement break video, which I have designed for anyone who's been sitting for a little while. So this little sequence is going to help undo any stiffness in the shoulders, the back and the hips. Now I am using resistance bands for this little um, sequence. So if you've got no idea what these are or what to do with them, then if you look in the description below, there will be a link to a video on how you can make these up. So without further ado, I'll let you roll out your mat and on with your day. So I just want to do a quick release for the neck um, before we get started with the band. So come to a comfortable position, whatever feels good for you. Take a moment to start to bring yourself inwards, connecting to your body, to your breath. And then from here, think about Lengthening your sit bones down towards the floor. And as you lengthen your sit bones down towards the floor, you should feel that nice sense of length through the spine. And almost think about lifting your ribs out of your hips. So you're not slumping, we're trying to get out of that feeling of <laughs> being in this position. From here, draw the back of the throat to the back of the neck. And then keeping that connection with your exhale, drop the chin to the chest. And then we're going to take a full circle, just going any direction you want, moving slowly, drawing a circle with your nose, moving calmly through the cracks and the clicks if there are any. And then when your chin gets to the chest again, we're going to pause, reconnect back of the throat to the back of the neck. This is really good for um, bringing our neck back into alignment. And then we'll go the other way. So drawing that big circle with your nose, nice and slowly with control. Noticing any areas that feel clicky, rice crispy, tight. And then back with the chin to the chest and then bring your head up and then we'll just do a stretch for the side neck muscles um, which can get quite grumpy when we're doing a lot of sitting down stuff so we'll take the right ear to the right shoulder first so just feel you know when you get that nice stretching sensation if you want a bit more then you can add the right hand um, avoid pulling on the elbow just let the weight of the elbow give you that extra little bit of sensation we'll take one more breath here and then we'll move out release the hand first if you used it and then roll the chin to the chest bring it back up and then back of the throat to the back of the neck let's just go the other side wait for the sensation to kick in If you want more, left hand reaches up. Again, avoid pulling. Keep your breath nice and smooth, breathing in. Using that breath as a, a tool to keep connected to our bodies and to kind of slow down the mind. Right, let's come out, chin to chest, and bring yourself up. All right, so with the bands, we're going to take. Um, a stirrup at the end around the feet and then put them in the same side hand and they fit like mittens so it's just above the thumb but your fingers are free and then we're going to come down onto the floor now the first move I'm going to show you is called rolling and it's a great release for your um, upper back your shoulders and um, your neck you will also feel this in your tummy muscles a bit as well, especially when we um, add on to the uh, final two variations, well, two variations, yeah. So come down onto the floor, 
Your feet um, are flat, your knees pointing up towards the ceiling. And then when you're settled, we're going to take the arms out at shoulder high. So you're going to feel a little bit of resistance here. Now, we're basically going to roll from side to side. So the first part of the movement, the inhale, would bring the um, one arm up to the ceiling. So let's start with the right arm. Now, for this variation, the knees stay still. As you breathe out, you're going to take that right arm over towards the left arm. Okay, so you want to touch hands. I want you to keep the pelvis on the floor and the knees super still. So you're rolling the ribcage only. So this is our breath out. As we breathe in, we're coming back to this shape and then we'll take it to the other side. So the left arm comes um, up as we breathe in. As we breathe out, keeping the legs, the pelvis still, we reach over to the right, okay? And then we breathe in and we come back and swap. So let's go back to the right, go to the left, sorry. Breathing in, center, breathing out. Go to the opposite side. Okay, breathing in and breathing out. To the left, breathing in, breathing out. To the right. Okay, let's do it one more time. So I'm hoping that it feels like you're doing a twist kind of movement with your upper back. Lovely. So the second variation is going to let the knees move this time. So it's the same thing. I'm going to inhale up and then as you exhale, drop your knees to the um, left and also reach a little bit further forward if you can. And then inhale, come back to the center. This is where you might need a little bit more of your tummy muscles. And then exhale, rock the knees to the right, reaching that left arm a little bit further forward. And then inhale, center. Okay, let's do two more to each side. Breathing in, if you come into the center, breathing out as you roll. One more time to each side. So I'm hoping you feel a little bit more movement, twisting movement in your spine. You're also getting a bit of a massage as well, which is why I like this movement so much. Okay, come back to center. We'll do part three. So we're gonna come up and over as before, but this time turn the left palm down, press into the left forearm as you reach the right arm. Okay, so you're gonna Get a little bit more movement now. And then inhale, this is where you're going to have to wake up the tummy muscles a bit more so you don't flop on the floor. And then we're going to roll to the right, turn your right palm over, press into your right forearm and reach. And then inhale, curl in to land. Right, let's speed it up a little bit and do two more reps. Exhale, roll, inhale, center. Exhale, roll. Inhale, center, exhale, roll. Inhale, center, exhale, roll. Inhale, center. Oh, and just take a moment to feel the effects of that. Hopefully you can feel a little bit freer in your upper body. So for our next one, we're gonna um, target the front of the hips, give them a stretch and your lower back. So to begin with, just bring your arms by your side. We're going to do floating bridges. And we will check that your feet are facing forward. And then connect to your breath. And the next time you breathe out, curl your tailbone up towards the back of your knees and continue lifting the pelvis. Breathing in, pause the movement. And then breathing out, roll it back. Breathing in and bottom of the movement. Breathe out, curl the tailbone under, and lift the hips. Pressing up, colonial shoulders are on the floor. Breathing in at the top. Breathing out, coming down. Breathing in when you get to the bottom. Right, let's do two more like that. Breathing out, lifting the hips, curling that tailbone towards the back of your knees, just really wake the glutes up, breathing out to lower, breathing in to pause, and 
again. Breathing out. Breathing in at the top. Breathing out as you lower. Breathing in, taking the pause right. We're now going to add the resistance band. So as we go up, you're going to take the resistance band up and over the head. And what I want you to do is really reach from here. Get as much space as you can in this area here. We'll stretch out the lats. Open up through the front of the shoulder. Okay, I feel really, really good. Okay, so inhaling, and then next time you exhale, curl, lift the hips, arms come up overhead, reach. Breathing in, enjoy, <laughs> and then breathing out. We'll lower everything down, inhaling at the bottom. Ideally, you should <laughs> land your hand and pelvis at the same time. As you can see, I did a very bad job of that. <laughs> so I'll try and improve for the next last two repetitions. So when you're ready, breathing out, lift. Breathing in, hold. Let's see if I can do a better job. Breathing out. And landing. Breathing in and holding, right? One last time, breathing out. Scoop that tailbone under. Reach through the fingers. Enjoy that stretch for the spine, side body. Glutes are working. Hips are stretching. Lovely. And come back down. Super job. Okay, so I've got a bit for your core. Um, because when we get lower back ache, it's usually, um, well, it can be because our core has been a little bit floppy whilst we're sitting. <laughs> So if we wake it up, sometimes it's enough just to help our back to feel a little bit better. So what I want you to do is take one foot up off the floor at a time, so your knees are above your hips. And then we're going to bring the arms um, uh, so that they're um, facing the ceiling. And this is quite hard to coordinate, so we're going to do toe taps to begin with. Making sure that your belly is off, so you're just going to gently draw down through the navel, soften the ribs down, keep the pelvis nice and flat on the floor so you're not tucking or tilting. We're going to exhale and as you do so, take the left arm back and drop the right toes down. Breathing in, come back to centre and then breathing out, left toes down, right arm back and come to centre. And just see um, how this variation feels first of all. And if you're finding you want a bit more sensation, then we can extend the leg and the arm a little bit more. So right arm back, left arm forward, and then bring it back to the center, inhale. Okay, and then left leg, right arm, and then come back to the center. Now, this is where there's a danger that <laughs> The arm that's facing the ceiling moves, okay, as your leg stretches out. Do your very best to keep it anchored in the position. Um, so it's not moving. All right, let's do four more all together. Breathing out to come in, breathing in to come back. Last one. And again. All right, and then from here, we're going to do a little bit of a fun one to finish off. So you're going to come into, we call it Apollo Hold, and then just breathe normally. Roll to your favorite side, keep the top arm stretched, and then grab uh, the top ankle and come into a cross stretch. <laughs> right, another one for the front of the hips. And then come to the center with control, use your core and then roll over to the other side, coming into a cross stretch. Okay, and again. Centre with control, and then cross stretch. <laughs> Centre with control, and then cross stretch. One more to each side. Okay. <laughs> Centre, and then stretch the quads. 
Let's take three breaths here this time. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Should feel good. Okay, last one. Oh, back to the center. And then other side. Three breaths, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, come back to the center. Just draw the knees into the chest this time. Give yourself a little, little massage from side to side. And then come up to a seat. Well done. If you've got time for a short Shavasana and yoga relaxation after that, then please go ahead and do so. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this short little movement break designed to just help your body feel better after a long time sitting. Mm -hmm.